Hello. Welcome back to another pen talk. Thanks for tuning in. Yes, we have a ubiquitous black box. It's a little bit of abuse. It's not new. As we can see some branding on that box. Yes, it's a senator. But unlike my first senator, this is a completely different writing package. So let's open up the top and we'll see a fountain pen and a ballpoint. Metal pens. They do have a logo on them. Nice senator embossed in the top of the box. Leatherette finishing on the outside. A nice velour on the inside. And as we'll see, these pens are definitely unique. That's the Metropolitan Police of London logo there. These are basically new. So that was kind of nice. Interesting find on eBay. The design on the clip is quite interesting with that little matte kind of area and the other is gloss area and we have your Senator logo there at the very top. There's no indication of where these pens are made. In doing further research on the current versions of Senator, they seem to have a UK branch in addition to a branch in Germany. Here's those addresses. So, and they seem to have be heavily into you know personalizing pens making pens like these that are given away maybe as a graduation gift from the crime academy so these just have uh, cartridges in them and has one blank cartridge in the section it's just a pull off cap yeah you know, your standard iridium tip nib standard black section it unscrews there's your blank cartridge which is totally blank never was had an ink in it and there's the one with ink in it looks like standard international as we lose a light but i'm going to see what converter i can fit in here obviously i'm not going to use a cartridge so my first impression with this pen is is it's typical of metal pens from china nothing unique about it um, you know there's no labeling either on the pen or the box or any place else that says where this is made you know it's made well there's nice heft to it and the threads all fit together well you know ballpoint's a ballpoint you know you twist to extract you know kind of like your cross design so let's put some ink in here. Let's see how the nib works and see if this was a worthwhile investment. So how does the size of this Senator pen compare? Here we have it compared to a Pilot Metropolitan, another all metal pen, and the Pilot 78G. So it's a decent size pen in length. We'll give you those actual measurements. The pen posts well and securely but doesn't post very deeply as you can see makes her a very long pen especially compared to the metropolitan and 78g it looks to be a standard number five german iridium tip nib so that's the ergonomics let's see how the nib works this pen is uh, pretty long so to me, I would probably always use this unposted. But as we mentioned, it does post and it posts securely. There's a nice cap liner inside of the cap. But that cap is half the weight of the pen and it certainly back weights it. So it's not going to make for a comfortable writing experience, at least from my perspective.
So I'm impressed with this nib. It's a very nice steel nib. Not sensitive to angle at all. Has a little bit of give to it, just enough that it makes the writing experience quite pleasant. I have a generic cartridge in here. I tried to get a converter to work, but nothing really fits securely that I had. So <clears throat> I just took a, I think it's probably from, um, you know, one of my pens that came with cartridges. So it's a classic black ink. But you don't need any pressure to write. So kudos, the pen works well. It doesn't have that variety that the other Senator pen did, but it still works good. So I do think I can rate this pen. And I'm going to give it an 8.6. Mainly due to the nib, which works very, very well. You know, it's nothing to write home about, except it is cool that it has <laughs> the branding on it. And who would not want to be associated with Crime Academy? So I'd say this pen is probably from the 90s, maybe early 2000s. And why do you think I would say that? Well, the cartridge that was included with the pen is less than half full of ink. I'm assuming it was full of ink when this was new. So in my experience, cartridges pretty much lose a little bit of ink every year. Again, they're supposedly sealed and everything else, but that's my experience. So I guess the pen has at least been setting for close to 20 years to uh, have that amount of ink come out of the cartridge. So have we reached the end? So thank you for watching. May have many great writing experiences. This is definitely an interesting hobby. And it's definitely something that um, you can't run out of new things to try. So enjoy putting ink on paper. Enjoy your pens, your nibs, your inks, and your papers. So we reach the end. Until the next video, bye for now. Have a good day and a great life.